On the heat pump tour to the top today, I will be visiting Verena Rausch. Verena Rausch has uh, purchased a building that was built in 1993. You can see already here, it's a renovation project. And you can also see what they did to it. We can see the uh, outdoor unit for an air to water heat pump in place. Hello, welcome. Hello Verena, thank you for opening the door for us. Hello, Thomas. Uh, you told us that you have renovated your building with a heat pump, with an air-to-water heat pump from the company Weiland. It's an Aerotherm Plus. It also uses a, a very brand new refrigerant that is in fact very old. Uh, it has been used in the beginning of the 20th century and it's coming back now. My outer unit, um, that's a 12 kW outer unit. Um, this size was needed in order to get the heat demand covered from our building. And uh, yeah, it's running, as you can see, but most probably you can't hear it. But yeah. it's perfect that you say that, as you yeah. can see, because we're hearing that there is a problem of visual sound. Let's see if we can also hear it. People yeah. are complaining if a heat pump is set up that it might be too loud, it's creating headaches and so on. But we can still talk here and we wouldn't be able to recognize anything. Let's go closer. Yeah. I think you have to go very close. So I think my microphone should pick up the sound of this unit. Yeah. We have to, let's be very silent. Maybe we can tell the neighbors to stop their machinery. Or go closer. I only know that it's running when I see that the leaves are moving here. Yeah, that's my information <laughs> that's that the a, heat pump is running. That's a, that's a very funny indicator. Yeah, it works perfectly. I mean, I was always convinced that we have to go on renewable energies from the beginning when we started the renovation of my house. Uh, of our house, I have to say, but my man was a bit skeptical because he thought that the renewables might fit better to new build than to renovation. And now he's absolutely convinced that this was the best decision taken. Yeah. And, and how does it look on the inside? Can you show us that? It's beautiful, I have to say. Now let's come in. And here you see now the inner circuit of the heat pump. Yeah. So, um, this big thing is our domestic hot water storage, it's about 300 liters. So let's look at the temperature level yeah. that, that it has. We are at 43 degrees. Yes. Yeah, and you have comfort in taking a shower every morning. That's enough. Yeah, that, that's absolutely enough. I, I believe it's very efficient. Yeah. yeah. And then we have here the volume module, it's so called, where we transfer the energy from the outer unit into the whole heating system and the most domestic hot water circuit. Um, and you might see here, those who see it uh, and can read German, it's called the Betriebskostenschutz. What we have done, in addition to the fact that we have a renovation case, we said, okay, we want to be sure that the system runs mm -hmm. most efficient. So we have um, remote monitoring from Weiland in addition. So that's what you see here, this nice black, uh, stuff and this is the hardware that the experts can have a look on our device and uh, based on that unbelievable in September we really had a coefficient of performance a COP of 6.1 the, the heat pump itself was independent from all other measures because of the apartment that we were renting over the whole time mm -hmm. so it took us from removing the old device to in, uh, installing it and commissioning it uh, two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Well, uh, I but in the two weeks, I have to say, in the two weeks, we also did a new underfloor heating in the first floor uh, and we also did a calculation system in addition. So we had to do additional a lot of piping. And that's, that's all covered in the two weeks. So that was clear for, for us from the beginning. We have to go for renewable energy and heat pump was the, the simplest way. 